Hello, welcome everyone to Floss Tube number nine. I'm Sherry, if we haven't met before, and uh, today is July 13th, 2022, but just barely. It's uh, Wednesday, and I actually did a um, vlog. I did a vlog for you all today, and it took me all day. And as I was doing some editing, I realized that um, everything was orange and brown. The colors was way off in my video. I don't know what happened. Uh, so I decided just to redo it and to sit down here with you all uh, because in the other video, I didn't even show myself. Uh, so maybe this time it will work out, uh, hopefully. Uh, hopefully the colors won't be off. Everything that was red showed up orange. Uh, things showed up as dark colors. And my cross stitch, uh, even the... Um, my cross stitching was not looking right. So we're going to do this for tonight. Um, so you may hear some noises in the background. Uh, uh, Malia is in the other room. She fixed her some gluten-free pizza to have or just a little snack before bed. And um, my other daughter is up and so we're just, you know, kind of taking it easy tonight. Uh, so, but thank you. Thank you for joining me. Um, before I get on into showing the projects, I wanted to talk about um, my Instagram, uh, which is Willie Sheep Stitcher, uh, underscore, Willie underscore Sheep underscore uh, Stitcher. I will try to put that down below on the screen too. But on there, um, I don't only post uh, things to do with cross stitch. I post uh, nature pictures. I do some jewelry making. So I post uh, that on there. Uh, mostly I do bracelets, uh, some earrings things like that. But I, I say that uh, to, to um, explain something. Uh, Dana, Dana, my Instagram friend, I'll put her Instagram down below. Um, she had seen a bracelet that I made uh, and some of you all probably uh, saw this too that I posted. And I told her I would wear this bracelet for one of my floss tubes. Uh, so, take it off. This is the bracelet. Oh, wait a minute. Turn, turn his face around. There we go. There we go. Okay. So, this, <laughs> this is the bracelet that I made. And, um, let me see put him in a little closer. Okay, so he's a really grumpy looking bead. <laughs> and that's why I like him so much because it absolutely cracks me up. It makes me laugh. And I I just, I love this little bracelet. Um, so Dana was kind of cracking up over this bracelet too. And I had told her that I also had a t-shirt uh, that it's, it's actually got Snoopy on it and it says, nope, not today. And uh, she liked that. And I told her I would wear both of them for a floss tube. Well, I don't actually have the t-shirt on, but I am, um, I am wearing the bracelet. Uh, so I, I did that for you, Dana. And um, I'm going to actually turn it this way so 
he won't look upside down when I'm doing showing things. Maybe I'm not sure, but yes, there's so there's the bracelet. Uh, so if you have Instagram, and you want to follow me on Instagram, just go over to Willie Sheep Stitcher, and I'm there. Um, okay, so to make up for the grumpy face, to make up for the grumpy face, I did put the smiley face uh, on my chain. So I do have a smiley face. Uh, so that's there. So now that I've got that order of business out of the way, um, I will start showing some of my projects. Okay, so on July 4th, I did a vlog style video and I was talking about some of my plans for July. Uh, so one of uh, the things that I was showing in that video was from this book, Good Nature Girls, uh, the big book of holidays. Uh, I was working on this project right here and um, I have gotten a little more done on it. Not a whole lot because uh, over the holidays we, or over the July uh, 4th week, I did not do very much stitching at all. And um, I haven't gotten to work on my focus piece either, but uh, I did get some done on this. So, this is done on white Ada, 16 count white Ada. And here he is. Uh, the last time you saw it, I had the pumpkin, the leaf, and just this part right here. So I've been working my way up. I'm up to uh, about the neck of the cat. And, um, uh, I'm not really happy with the coverage from this uh, DMC black because of the white showing through, but uh, we do plan on coffee dyeing this when it's done. It's going to go into Malia's room. Uh, she uh, wanted this piece, so it's going in her room and she wanted it to look um, very uh, prim primitive, rustic, kind of look so that's what we're going to do um, so I am right up to this point so I've got the cat's head to do and the tail and then you can barely see it uh, the moon back here I'm going to turn uh, to turn that or or use a darker floss for that, especially since I'm going to be coffee dyeing. And uh, so I'm going to change some colors on this. And I'm not even sure that I'm going to do this part down here. Uh, I'm just going to wait and see how it looks after I get the cat and everything else done and all the back stitching and then decide. So that is my update on um, on this particular piece. I was trying to see if I could find a date, a copyright date in this book, because this is a very old, this is an old book. Um, 1998, that's what this is. So this goes back to 1998, uh, but I still, it's, it's had some water damage. I'm not sure. I don't remember how it got damaged, but uh, yeah, it's it's got some damage. Some of the pages won't are stuck together. It's in pretty rough shape, but I can still get to some of the patterns that I like. Okay, uh, the next thing. Okay, y'all. I actually had forgotten uh, somehow that I had this uh, cross stitch. I think it came in my mind on and off, but I actually had forgotten about this, um, which is totally not like me to forget anything coastal. 
but the secret beach I if I spent a good afternoon just a couple hours probably this would be done I am that close to this being done, <clears throat> to this being done all I have to do I've got to put those sunglasses in I've got to do let's see which one uh, this part and finish up the wa the water. I'm over to about right here. So I've got to finish up the water and the mermaid. And uh, do that border around it. And it's done. So I have not made any progress on this uh, since I have shown it. But... I do have some new subscribers who may not have seen this, so I am going to show it again so that um, you will uh, see it when I have a finish on it, hopefully by the next video, because this doesn't need to linger anymore. So there we are. And it needs ironing and all that, but... I just decided I was going to wait until I was done. So there is that. Uh, the next um, project I wanted to share with you. Hold on just a second. There's some threads floating around here for some reason. Um, mm hmm. Okay. No, it's not what I'm looking for. Everything's mixed up from where I did the video a while ago. Okay, uh, so I have shown you all uh, this several times. Lost my chart for a while and then found it. So this is Little House Needleworks. Uh, the Inn at Fox River Mill, I think is uh, the name of it yes and uh i just really like this so i made a, a bit of progress on this so when you last saw it when you last saw it i think i was just like right in here somewhere so i came on over with the grass and the water and this is the start of the water wheel uh, right here. Uh, this is like a 16 count Rustico fabric, Ada. So right here is where I'm at, right in there. So that, that will give you an idea. Uh, so I am excited to uh, get to work on this some more. Um, so the next, the next thing, um, let me move some things out of the way. Okay. I had shown this, I think, in my vlog video that I had. Uh, just bought it, uh, I don't know if I, maybe the day before I did my vlog, I'm not sure. So this is the fall on the farm uh, series from Little House Needleworks. And um, I thought this was really cute. So I had said that I wanted to get just a little start on it. And actually I did not get a start on it until last night. Tuesday night and it's just very little it's in this area up here uh, so I'll show it to you though so right there is my start and this is also on a 16 count Rustico fabric okay I think I need to pause for just one second. Hi, there's Malia. 
she's with me. She doesn't have anything to show tonight. She will be with us though next Wednesday, right, Malia? Mm -hmm. Uh, but she just wanted to pop in and say hello to everyone. So, um, are you still eating your pizza? It's, it's good. Yeah, it's <laughs> so, pretty good. I mean, like, it, I should've... For gluten-free, it's good. I should have right? eaten the cheese. Oh, <laughs> did you, uh, eat some of the, with the meat on it? That, is that making you sick? No. Oh, okay. Okay, so yeah, Malia popped in to say hi to us. I have my uh, sweet tea. There's my actually Milo's sweet tea is in there. Um, I had a Sonic cup from earlier, so I've got this. Take a sip. That's good. So, and you know, I've gone all day, and I still have not eaten. Uh, dinner. What? It's going on midnight? <laughs> I, st I didn't have lunch. I didn't have breakfast. Uh, so I need to eat something, people. Uh, okay. So I talked about my focus piece in my vlog on July 4th. And I had mentioned um, I was making uh, this, my focus piece again, after I got over being mad at it. And um, I had started over on a, uh, I started this over on a 16 count white Ada. I think it looks great on there. I have not made any more progress on it but I'm going to show it anyhow um, the light color of the fabric is like really helping my eyesight uh, so there we go there we go and this right here if you're seeing this this is the stem of the pumpkin and I think this is looking great, but uh, I got so many sweet comments uh, when I made my video about this project. Uh, people supporting me uh, for starting over, uh, but also hating that I had done so much stitching on the original piece that I started and just feeling bad for, for me for that and um i uh took some time looked at it again and i'm going to uh just because of the encouragement and the nice comments i'm actually going to finish this up on the vintage country mocha but i'm going to stitch it on the white also uh so but i won't be in as much of a hurry for to get it done on the white um so on the vintage country mocha um i was having trouble i was get, actually i have some frogging i have to do on this and this let me tell you i know some of you uh may um laugh at me <laughs> some of you that do the bigger projects with all kinds of colors this does have a lot of confetti stitching in it but this bouquet of um chrysanthemums was really giving me headaches a lot of trouble i, I just had a huge amount of trouble stitching this and uh, just a lot of confusion in it, but I'm going to try to finish it. Um, because basically that's what I have left is to do that. And like I said, I have some frogging that I have to do on this. I'm not looking forward to that. Uh, but 
basically I've got this um, yeah this Ohio quilt star to do here and then one to do down here and finishing up my chrysanthemums um, and maybe some back stitching type and that's it that's it so you know really it's it's ridiculous for me not to finish it so I'm going to finish it thank you to everyone for your encouragement on that and for supporting me in my uh, decision that I made and um, yeah just thank you uh, stitchy friends are just, just great so I'm thankful for all of you so that's my plan for that focus piece um, so I did show you Halloween surprise uh, that's from the Leisure Arts book, Holiday Reverie. Uh, I won't work on that until I am done with this focus piece. And then my plan is to move to that. Okay. Uh, so, some upcoming plans uh, that I want to share. Okay. I showed this in a previous video that I had gotten uh, this. This is a piece from Dimensions uh, Scenic Farm uh, that I have wanted for quite a few years and I just never would buy it. That is not until um, Jen from Backcountry Stitcher showed that she had gotten it as part of her haul and if you watched if if you have been able to watch my previous videos you will see where i was joking about i couldn't have anyone on floss tube stitching this and me not have it so that can that kind of put me over the tipping point to decide to buy it so i got it i i love this um so I got this and then my friend Laura Stitcher on Instagram she ordered this and then um, is it Rebecca from rainbows and stitching um, I just actually found her through Laura um, she has this so Laura and I were talking why not do a stitch along? Uh, so we are going to uh, start this as a stitch along on September 1st. So anyone that would like to join us is welcome to join us. If you've been wanting to stitch this, then let us know and you are welcome to join us. Uh, we can give you more information on it later. Uh, but we are going to do this as a stitch along starting in September and I am so excited and Laura was thinking the same thing as me um, not only does this have a fall vibe to it it also has the winter vibe to it so for stitching it through fall and winter then we will feel like we're stitching in the season um of course i think there in australia they'll be in their spring at that time but um but yes uh we uh uh i'm sorry i lost my train of thought uh, this I, I am I am totally looking forward to stitching this. Uh, it's beautiful, and I'm looking forward to seeing uh, Jen's progress uh, back uh, backcountry stitcher as she works on it uh, before the uh, before we get started in September. Um, so that's 
my announcement for that. Okay. Something new for me. You all know you usually don't see me showing project bags or anything like that. I don't typically uh, shop a lot um, for project bags or anything, but um, Renee, the Appalachian Stitcher, introduced uh, all of us that have seen her videos to uh, Stick Horse Designs. And I had to have some of her bags. Okay, so let me find, before I show these, let me find uh, the card. So, uh, Stick Horse Designs, there's the information. And there's the name, Tammy, who makes these bags. They are wonderful, uh, beautiful. Um, I got two different sizes. And I'm sorry, I'm not sure what to tell you the sizes are with these. Uh, but this is more, I got this one. Uh, it's more of a travel size. In fact, I took it with me last night to one of Malia's uh, activities. And um, I had my little house needlework project in it the chart and the threads and and everything and you know here's the back of it and you know, it's, it opens up pretty deep um i have most of my stuff out of it right now but there is my bag now when i did my video earlier all of this red was showing up as orange I hope that's not happening now. This is red. So if you see orange flowers or red or an orange zipper, this is red. Uh, it's not orange. So I love this too because the background color is blue. Blue is my favorite color. And I love red along with blue. So when you get these, they also come with a matching, look, a matching Millie, this little mouse. I love it. It's got, you know, the, um, I can't think of what these are called right now. The, this little clasp on it. And look at the little zipper pool. How sweet. Okay. So I'm imagining, I thought my daughter was going to try to take this away from me yesterday. Uh, Hannah, some of you know Hannah. Um, not yesterday, the day I got it. Uh, because she likes blue too, and she was kind of going crazy over this. And um, I, I was just opening this up. Listen, y'all. This, I mean, you know, you could put craft supplies in there, but I'm also thinking maybe if you wanted to carry it like as a little change purse or like put a, put a, you know, debit card, credit cards, uh, some cash, change, whatever, it would be cute for that too. Uh, so I, I, I just love this. Um, so I was very excited, very excited to get this in the mail. Okay, so not only did I get that set, I got a bigger set. Okay, okay. Y'all, y'all who, who, you know, like strawberries, you know, don't be, don't be jelly here. Um, I have this huge bag, huge, uh, bag, um, for, you know, a bigger project. It's got strawberries. So if it's turning up orange on your screen, it's not orange. What you see is red. Uh, 
So there's the front of the bag. And then here is the back. Here's the back. Isn't it gorgeous? Gorgeous material. Okay, so this came with uh, Millie also. And of course you can guess it's strawberries fabrics. I, I love it. I love it. Um, so the good news is, the good news is if you like these, okay, first of all, you can go to stick horse, uh, designs, uh, to her Instagram. You can go to her Etsy. Uh, I think that information was on the card that I showed you. You can get some bags that way. But, but Tammy is going to send me one of these. Now, I don't know what the fabric's going to be, but she is sending me uh, one of these for a future giveaway. The Millie for a future giveaway. Uh, which I am going to add a few things to this. Uh, so um, we're trying to get to 200 subscribers right now. So I'm saving this. Uh, when she sends me um, the Millie, I'm saving it to get to my 200 subscribers. And then I'm going to do a giveaway. So thank you to Tammy for offering to provide one of these for the giveaway. I am really excited for that. So, uh, y'all, um, I would greatly appreciate it if you uh, shared our channel and let others know about it. I would greatly appreciate it if you like this kind of content, if you like uh, and subscribed. Um, Leave me some comments. Let me know you're watching and who you are and um, where you're from. Is I love making all kinds of stitchy friends. Uh, so, yeah, leave me some comments and uh, let me know you're there. Um, I'm trying to think of something. I'm trying to think of something. Um, a question. Uh, last time... I asked a question when I did my uh, um, Jolly Ju when I did my Jolly July uh, lineup. If I were to, if I were to do Jolly July, I asked. I showed I think three um, projects and asked uh, for y'all to let me know your. Uh, opinion on which one I should do or I should concentrate on and believe it or not they all tied in comments if I remember correctly they all tied in comments so um, let me let me pause for just a second I'm going to talk to Malia we're going to think of a question for everyone to answer because I would I would like to hear some responses okay I'm back uh, Malia said uh, for everyone to answer this question who is your favorite designer and why now you don't necessarily have to answer that that part but if there's something about their uh, designs that you like let us know exactly what it is that draws you to uh, their work um, it's always fun to uh, maybe somebody we haven't heard of and we can check out their designs uh, so let us know and before I end I do have some shout outs uh, that I wanted to do um, I first uh, and I'm going to put these somewhere I don't know as I say their name or if I will uh, just put these as a list for you to see um, somewhere 
on the on this video as I'm talking about it. Uh, but someone new to me is Cat Talks. I I love her uh, the ones I've seen so far her videos. Um, she has a, a vlog style video that she does. I'm not sure if it's for a period of two weeks or a month. I'm thinking two weeks, uh, but I've, I have watched so many people, I'm not sure. And I'm going to need to pause for a minute because I am just about ready to run out of battery. Okay, I'm back. Um, so Cat Talks. Uh, I love the vlog style videos. And the one reason that I like those are that um, most of the time the person throughout the couple of weeks or the month that they are doing them, they're working on one focus piece and, you know, maybe uh, having something small that they work on also. Uh, but I love seeing kind of the real time of the progress of um, the, the project they're working on. Um, Calico Whimsy also has, uh, does videos like that. She vlogs for the month and, um, then posts a video. I, I love that style. In fact, if I can learn how to do it, that's really how I would prefer to do my videos, but I'm still learning things. Uh, let's see. The other uh, shout out I have is Yuliana's Stitch Tube. Uh, she it lives in New York, if I recall correctly, originally from Ukraine. Um, she has beautiful, beautiful uh, projects that she has done. Uh, she's got uh, dimensions. Uh, that she has done, um, some from uh, Etsy that she has done. I cannot remember, there's one particular, there's a designer that I really, really like. Mm, that's Girl with a Lighthouse. If you watch her, uh, if you go and watch Juliana's um, Stitch Tube, then you will see those designs. They're, they're gorgeous. She will uh, tell you the name of the Etsy designer. I actually went on and tried to order um, one of the uh, designs that I saw on Juliana's channel. And uh, the seller there uses PayPal, so I don't have PayPal and was unable to get it, uh, but this is beautiful work. Um, so, Yuliana's Stitch Tube, if you like uh, the dimensions and uh, those type of uh, projects, you won't be disappointed. Uh, she has got and some things I have never seen before, so it's beautiful. Um, and then, uh, not sure if I remember the name right, um, but you will see the name on the screen. Traveling Stocking Stitcher, I think. Uh, I meant to go back and look that up before I started my video, but I will put it on here. Um, she, her last video was on a designer. Uh, she was kind of focusing on one particular designer and it was Michael Powell, and I have wanted to do um, one of his designs for a long time, and I just haven't done it, but I thoroughly enjoyed watching her um, video. I had never seen, uh, her philosophy was completely new to me, um, and so I had never seen uh, any of her philosophy. Floss tubes. That one just so happened to pop up on my YouTube uh, feed and uh, 
So I, I really enjoyed watching that. Uh, so go give her a watch because those pieces are gorgeous that she has. Um, okay. Uh, I think that is all I have to talk about for now. Everyone have a great rest of the week. I hope to see you next Wednesday. That's the plan. And be uh, blessed. Stay safe. And be well. Bye.